My name is Jason Sutton and I work on the drag circuit as Miss Jason. I've been a drag queen for 17 years now. Years ago I used to uh, drink in a bar, a gay bar in Portsmouth called the Old Vic, watching the wonderful stars on the cabaret circuit like Phil Starr and Maisie Trollette, Dockyard Doris and people like that, that um, inspired me to get going. I first got my bookings at Legends Hotel where Tony Chapman there, the owner, said why don't you come in on a Monday, it's a quiet night and eight years later I'm still there. Oh, embarrassing things and funny things happen when we're doing this sort of work all the time. Unfortunately, I have the ability to put my foot in it without even thinking about it. The reason that is, is because when you work live, you've got to think on your feet and sometimes things go into your mind and you say it and then you think, oh God, I should never have said that. Who are you texting now? He's taking pictures of me and zapping them around the world. No, my mate said, is there plenty of cock to suck, man? And I said, oh, oh, should you mind? There's a film crew here from Southampton University. We do not suck cocks here in Brighton. <laughs> we blow them. <laughs> and often people get a little bit cheeky, they try to jump on the stage, they try to get involved, they grab you. I'm a little bit fussy about that, I don't really, unless it's someone that I quite like, because the thing about drag is it's an alter ego, so you become much braver. Um, so if it's someone that I quite fancy, like a nice handsome man that I've taken a shine to, I'm quite happy to be grabbed. That's why I'm singing this song for you, darling. My cat makes less fuss of me than this year. But one golden rule you must never, ever, ever do is touch a drag queen's wig. And there is no act on the circuit that wouldn't go crazy if you touch their wig. And we're all very, very precious <laughs> about things like that. Um, I have a, a life partner uh, called Terry and we've been together for 25 years now. When I first started doing drag, Terry hated it. Um, he did, he did, I was involved in politics before this, so he viewed that as respectable, but it's something that he's got used to. When I'm in Panto at Christmas, he loves to be part of that. As opposed to going to what sometimes can be pretty grotty bars, we're pretty grotty people in them. Has Chris got a little pink for Hello boys and girls, how are you all all right? Hi. Lovely, lovely. My first one was Jack and the Beanstalk and I played Dame Trot. The other one I did was Aladdin, which I adored. I did Cinderella, I was an ugly sister. And this year I'm back at Woking, uh, playing Widow Twanky. My friends are very, very supportive. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, family left because I was an only child. And, um, oh, don't look so sad there, it's all right. Um, and both my mum and dad are, are gone now. Unfortunately, my mum never saw me doing this job and, and I think she'd have liked it because she was a very over-the-top woman herself who had a wicked, wicked sense of humour and, and had quite a saucy side to her as well. Uh, my dad was a much quieter man. He knew I did this and was quite happy about it, but I know as a teenager I was a nightmare and certainly discovering my sexuality wasn't an easy journey for me or my family. So they have supported me through thick and thin. When you start to put, am I talking to you, aren't I, or the camera? You, sorry. No, yeah. fine. Sorry, darling, I forgot that. I was looking straight down the lens. <laughs> when you start to put your makeup on, your character then develops, and it's almost like putting on on armour. Uh, so each each layer of makeup that goes on, so you become more and more into the character 
of, of your drag persona. And I find for me, more than the makeup, it's probably the heels, the shoes. When you put your heels on, you're then in character. But it just, you know, um, a couple more inches make all the difference. <laughs> Liberated. I feel liberated when I'm Miss Jason because that gives me the license to say whatever I want to whoever I want. So if I look at someone's outfit and I think it's particularly ghastly, I can say it because I'm saying it in a character. As Jason, I think I'm probably just a watered down version of Miss Jason because it's all, all much of muchness really for me. Some people really work on their character and they create a back history and, and a family, but I don't. It's just me, but bigger, really. I've been really lucky. I've never come across any um, unwanted attention, like homophobia or, or anything like that, or anti-drag, whatever that would be. What would that be? Dragophobia, I don't know. Um, because I mainly live in the gay world. The only time I do anything really straight is panto. And of course, you know, we're always canvas Christmas. Even the, the straight ones are canvas tits, dear, in panto. So, no, I haven't, thank goodness. Would I stop being Miss Jason is a really difficult question to ask. I think if you'd asked me a year ago, I'd have said, no, definitely not. Um, I couldn't bear not to be Miss Jason. As long as I was entertaining and performing, I think I'd be happy. But Miss Jason has been such a powerful and useful vehicle for me to get known and to get out there. I mean, I've been doing it 17 years. Within our community, there is fierce rivalry between all of us, but we're all good friends, and woe betide anybody who causes any of us as a problem. And if one of us is in trouble, we're all there. And there was an example um, a few years ago in Brighton where one of the acts who was facing a bit of bullying through what he did, and it was from another act, actually, you know, and uh, we all turned on the other one, and that queen has never, ever worked in Brighton since. Sure, now I really don't know, honestly. Uh, now I've got to think of something nice to say, I'm not have something reasonable to say. I really would be lost without Miss Jason in my life because Miss Jason brings me the freedom to be who I really want to be. You know, I want to be loud, I want to be over the top, I want to be in your face, I want to have a good time and I want to have fun. So Miss Jason gives me all those things. Uh, I couldn't imagine now having a day job that wasn't full of sequins and sparkles. I do without Miss Jason in my life. I think I'd probably drink myself into a stupor on a beach in the sunshine somewhere. Thank you very much.